Hi students and welcome to all the parents who are connected to us for career counseling, career advice and career planning. We are also career counseling strategic partners for test prep card. We'll finish this video in 5 minutes. I'll keep telling you in between how much time has gone so you can understand how much time is left for the video. We will discuss the top 10 colleges under DASA and what branches are they finishing like what branches are they taking first and why is what is the reason behind it and i'll have shared my advice also in between if you want to take that branch what can be the future scope so let us see that the first three if you look at the first three colleges if you look at your screen they are nits which is in the southern part of india first is tirichi then it is suratkal and varangal there is no doubt here, even if you take uh, J mains cutoffs for the Indian students who are giving exams in India, these are the top colleges, even what they take. The cutoffs for you are a little higher because uh, like NIT Trichy in J mains, it will go around 1000, 1000 rank, 700 to 1000. But for DASA student, it will go up to 13,500 rank. You can look at your screen. We finished around one and a half minute. So 13,500 is nearly 98.5 percentile in India. But if you get that rank, you can get NIT Trichy. So that's a very good branch. So if you are planning to go to the US and work there, currently, yes, computer science and IT would be the number one field to go and work there because the whole of the companies currently, there's a boom there. And because of COVID, the online situation Every company is going online. So the top three, four, if you look at them, they're computer science or IT. And the fourth college, of, or even if you look there also, that's also in the southern part of India, that's Kerala. And for that, you have to get something around 35,000 rank in J means and 35,000 uh, rank for Indian. If you compare it to Indian percentile, that would be somewhere around 97.5 percentile. So that's a good branch actually and uh, that's a good rank actually uh, if you want to judge how difficult it is it's a good rank and how much marks do you need there you need something around I think so 200 marks out of 300 to get that type of a rank or even 180 might get you there. So we have finished almost two minutes two to two and a half minutes let us move forward to the next branch EC. EC is when you go into any electronic device. It can be a mobile phone. So we'll look into, if you open the mobile phone, you'll see the semiconductors, what you have studied in class 12, the semiconductor, the whole of physics is there. Then electronic uh, components, which will be attached on your semiconductor. If you open the mobile, you can look into it and you'll see a green uh, sheet and you'll see a lot of components on it. That is electronics engineering. So electronics currently is used everywhere. It can be, it is used in cars, it is used in your household appliances. And now the next step is IoT, that is Internet of Things, where one electronic item can somehow communicate or send communication signals to the other electronic device. And the example for this is if you use your mobile to control anything in your house, that is IoT. So that's why EC. So if you are more technical oriented, and sort of have that image in your mind of an engineer really working and connecting pieces. That is something you can do in EC. In computer science, you will not be making laptops or computer products. That's for sure. Again, that whole part is for EC students altogether because the all overall electronic components are assembled by EC students. The communication part here is, let's say there's a satellite and it sends signals to your Television, like Tata Sky, that's communication. Where is it used? You can see in defense equipments, anything, missiles, rockets, they are sending us signals and we are receiving them and we are using them. So electronics and communication, more technical branch and to, it is considered to be really difficult. So four and a half minutes, I'll just finish it up very fast now. So now we come to the northern part of India where you find Hamirpur, that is Himachal Pradesh. And you have engineering physics. Engineering physics, again, it is mostly about electronics. Engineering physics is mostly about electronics and it touches somewhere around and it touches something around to computer science where it goes into AI or data analytics. That is also engineering physics. 
uh, Rodkela, as you can see, it is in and uh, it is uh, where it is in Odisha, and the uh, this branch in NIT Rodkela you can get from seventy three thousand rank also. And if you look at Indian students, they will get this brown branch nearly if they score a rank of around fifteen to twenty thousand. So you have that extra margin. You can score till seventy three thousand rank and still get the same branch. I will advise to take this branch if you are looking to work in the US. If you want to work in the in Europe, then you can take CS or EC, either of them. If you take mechanical, then I think so. Your main aim might be going into petroleum or production. Uh, related industry and your background thinking might be that middle east is normally uh, involved in these kind of industry so maybe i can go into mechanical engineering do not do the mistake of thinking that mechanical engineering will be just about automobile it will be about mostly what you have studied in 11th and 12th thermodynamics fluids and stresses related stress related that means kinematics and uh, other that uh, whole part of mechanics which you studied in class 11th so i'll finish it here and it is a, uh, we finished in around 6 minutes this was the top colleges how they're finishing in dasa and these are the branches that uh, the the way they are finishing in dasa and i've explained a little bit about each branch and their scope if you have further questions you can write down in your comments and i'll try to answer them in different videos thank you very much